Okay YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to make an egg box to put in your incubator for your new leopard gecko eggs. Now this is what I'm going to be using, it's hatch right, I've not used it before. Um, you don't have to add any water to this, it says you've just got to fill up the tub. I will show you uh, at the end of the video how to um, do it with something like vermiculite and things like that. These are the tubs that I'm using, uh, almost like uh, takeaway tubs that you get. And as you can see, there's some small holes been placed in there for a bit of air circulation. These are my two eggs, which I found. This is exactly how um, I found them. Now you can see that my gecko has chucked all the other stuff that she doesn't want up the air. Um, and bless her, she has been sat on them a bit, so they are a bit, a bit sort of squashed, but they look to be intact still. Okay. Um, I've just made the holes in this box with uh, a small screwdriver and it's going to be hard to do this with one hand but I'll try and that's what the hatch right looks like in there uh, so we're just going to put about four or five centimetres of that in there ish That looks to be okay, maybe a bit more in there. No, I think that's fine. Okay, let's get our eggs. I know a lot of people say lift them up as they're laid, and I've done that. Now leopard gecko eggs will take on a bit of the moisture over the time over time they will sort of get fat because these are a bit squishy I'll, uh, I'll add a bit of water in there but I'll just see how they get on I think first so that's them there there they are that's them incubated what I tend to do is for a certain period of time I forget when it is you're not supposed to move the eggs because the embryo is attached inside the egg and the embryo can then drown so I like to use a little bit of a pen to mark that should be okay at least then I'll know which is, oops, then I'll know which is the top end and which is the bottom end so I can quickly move it if I, for whatever reason I rock it or anything like that and knock them. So that's them in. They're in a bit, they're almost buried. You still got some of the, the air showing there. Put that back on. And then I like to mark them up. So today's the 13th, which doesn't work yet. Okay, that's dated, and I know which um, geckos they're from. That's from Tallulah and Bernard. You can see I put T and B on there, so I know who Mum and Dad is, and I've got the date on there. I'll put that on paper later. I'm just showing you for the benefit of the video what I do. Right then, if you bear with me, I'll stop this. I'll go away. I'll come back. And I'll show you the rest of the video with the other one and how to do it with vermiculite. Okay, I'm back. All I've done is I've gone and got my uh, scales out. First thing we're going to do, we're going to put that on there. It's in grams and ounces, but I want it in grams. So 25 grams. So the Mikulite that you can get in the shop. So we've got 25 grams there. We'll zero that. Close back. And you start filling it up. Exactly the same thing that you would do with the Repicare. See how much is in. That's okay. So that is 34 grams. There's a little maths equation we're going to do now. 
and oh, if you bear with me I will come back with that for you. Okay, as you can see there, it's six by four parts, four parts, six parts of medium to four parts of water, and that's from this book here. That's by Ron Tremper. So We know it was 34 the last time, I know it's changed now, but it was 34. So, we do 34, divide it by 6, 5.66, times that by 4, equals 22.66, which tells us how much water you need to put in. Two point six plus whatever the weight of your box was. In this case, it changes up to eighty one now. I'm trying evenly. Spread it up. You can see it going up there. And you're at eighty one. Swirl it round, stick your eggs in, put it on, stick it in your incubator and you're ready to go. Thanks for watching, speak to you later, bye.